Namaskar, Honorable Chief Minister who has uh, just gone for another program. Shri V. Srinivas Ji, Shri S. Krishnan Ji, Shri Puneet Yadav Ji, our Chief Secretary Sujata Saunik Ji, Parag Jain Ji, all the senior secretaries, senior government officials, present here from various states. Ladies and gentlemen, at the very outset, I would like to thank the Union Government for organizing this 27th National Conference on E-Governance in the city of Mumbai. I always say that such conferences belong to Mumbai. Because Mumbai is not just the financial, commercial, economic and entertainment capital, but it is also technology capital of India. And uh, today, when we stand here, our Honorable Prime Minister was here in, at the same venue two, three days back. And uh, he has announced that the government of India aspires to make Mumbai the fintech capital of India. So I think at the appropriate venue, this conference is happening. I would also like to congratulate all the winners who have taken great initiatives in different fields and have brought ease of governance for government and ease of living for the citizens. I think today when we all talk about good governance, I would say that e-governance is atma of good governance. Without e-governance, good governance is not possible. And we always say that good governance is like oxygen in air. Its presence need not be felt, but its absence suffocates you. And I think today, when we realize that government is the biggest service provider and people's assessment about government and people's aspiration from the government are analyzed on the basis of the service delivery system. I think for past two decades, we have been trying to use more and more e-governance. But I must say that post-2014, when our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji took this initiative of maximum governance and minimum government and started using e-governance in every sphere of life, the things have changed rapidly. When I look at uh, Maharashtra, I remember that we started our Aple Sarkar, that is our government portal, which is a grievance redressal portal, and also started digitizing all our services. We enacted Right to Service Act. Our first commissioner is sitting here. And with this Right to Service Act, we digitized end-to-end -end 400 services and we also brought them on mobile. Our aim was not a single citizen should require to visit a government office to avail any service. And I think, I won't say that we have been successful 100%. But to a large extent, people who are accessing services digitally are satisfied and are getting end-to-end -end service delivery 
through this digital interface we all know that e governance brings lot of efficiency and transparency i still remember that in uh, during 2010 to 2014 we had a huge scholarship scam and uh, in 2015 we decided to weed away with the ghost accounts of the students we started the dbt but then we realized and while talking to the colleges they also started complaining that dbt is fine but now students are not depositing the fees which you are depositing to their account and we are suffering and then we started one more initiative we created wallets in such a way that the fees go to the wallet of the student student either has to deposit it with the college and if he doesn't it comes back to the government and the problem was solved this sort of transparency we could bring through these initiatives i still remember when we started digitizing ration cards at the end of digitization we realized that we could do away with 1 crore fake ration cards 1 crore and the amount which we could save was enormous so i think it brings lot of transparency as well and having said that the efficiency which it brings today when we stand here the government of maharashtra has started a initiative of solarization of agriculture feeder it is one of its kind initiative in the state where all the agriculture feeders which provide electricity to the farmers are being solarized this is a largest distributed solar solarization project of india and you will be surprised that we had to find 8000 locations in the state whereby we give land parcels to erect the solar parks to solarize those feeders and within 3 to 4 months using our mahabhulek portal and gati shakti portal we integrated both the portals and within 4 to 5 months we identified the lands we transferred those lands to the newly created agriculture feeder company and within 9 months we awarded the solarization project worth 12000 megawatts and it will be completed in next 18 months and mostly maharashtra would be the first state where every unit of electricity consumed by the farmer would come from solar and in turn we will save around 5 rupees after every unit so i think this sort of efficiency is being brought by e governance and that is why all the solutions which we could see created by our awardees are such which are changing lives of people and i could sense that many solutions are now using artificial intelligence artificial intelligence big data analytics and i think blockchain technology these are the three things which are going to change the entire governance system today we can see that government is sitting on the biggest data we are in a era where data has surpassed the value of oil and we say today data is more valuable than oil and who has the data the biggest data creator and consumer is the government and using that data and using artificial intelligence using the analytics 
we can create new solutions we can make lives of people easy we can make them better there was a time when the department of statistics used to do a census after every 10 years and based on those census figures we used to create our policies for next 10 years today it is dynamic today with the use of artificial intelligence we can even analyze mood of a individual what are the aspirations of the people what are the aspirations of the group of people which strata wants what i think it has opened up flood gates but by using proper tools we can plan better we can use our resources better today the blockchain has created such a situation that i always say that our collectors and revenue officers their prime duty has been you know to hear the petitions of land disputes but once we digitize and put our records in blockchain 80% of such petitions won't be required there will be enormous time available for the revenue authorities to concentrate on other things so i think in every sphere the blockchain is also changing the lives of people and i am very happy that the union of india especially under the leadership of honorable prime minister is using all these technologies to make the lives of people better and i think in this 27th national conference when we look at all these initiatives i am very happy that every state is innovating innovation is a solution innovation is something which will change the lives of people because we are a nation of 140 crore and it is only the technology which can make us scale which can make us reach the last individual all of us know that uh, the best thing about technology is it doesn't discriminate technology doesn't understand whether it is a male or female whether they are from the higher strata or lower strata it works on a logic of first in first out it is a equalizer and i think the equity which we all speak about which our constitution speak about technology has power to bring that equity and that is why bringing technology in governance bringing all the new tools in governance is very important lastly i would say that the theme of this conference secure and sustainable secure and sustainable e governance i think that is a key because today we see that although the lives of people are changing we are bringing efficiency but a few days back with one single glitch the entire aviation sector in the world slowed down it stopped here is a catch we need to create absolutely secure e governance because i think everything which we create there are detractors who want to undo the things who want to utilize it for certain bad motives and with government i think it is very important that we create very secure platforms in maharashtra we have created a platform which is one of the unique platforms it was also demonstrated uh, uh, in the home ministers meeting and it was appreciated by everyone now this platform brings all the digital players on one single platform whether they are social media platforms whether they are what you can say uh, all the financial institutions nbfcs everything on one single platform and by bringing them we are actually shortening the response time because we today know 
that as we are moving ahead, the cyber frauds are also happening a lot. In fact, the biggest today thing which uh, all the states and state police are facing are the cyber frauds. And I think with such dynamic platforms, we can not only prevent, but you know, during cyber frauds, if somebody loses money within a span of one hour, if that is not blocked, then money travels from one country to second country to third country to such country where we don't have any treaty where we can go and act. So I think today we need to create such secure platforms where there cannot be a breach and these platforms cannot be used against the society. So security is something which is very important and of course sustainability is the most important thing and today with the use of e-governance in every sphere we can bring a lot of, I am given a cheat that government of Maharashtra Department of Administrative Reforms and Organization and Methods now renamed as Department of Administrative Innovation, Excellence and Good Governance. Thank you, it's, it's a good, good change. Thank you so much. So, I just want to conclude that sustainability is the key and the way towards sustainability is again e-governance. I am very sure that all the deliberations in this conference will aim at creating new initiatives in e-governance which are totally secure and sustainable and I am sure that the best practices which we have seen will be replicated in other states as well. Once again, I would like to thank the organizers for organizing this conference in the state of Maharashtra, in the city of Mumbai. I would like to welcome you all. I hope that this conference will be very fruitful. Thank you for inviting me. Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra, Jai Bharat.